welcome in studio now from uh, the EFF Student Command, uh, Peter Kietze. He joins me now uh, in studio. Peter, welcome to uh, ENCA now. Um, are you confident that this new administration in NSFAS uh, can uh, deliver the, the financial aid to students? Well, I think we should start with the fact that the, the very same new administration is celebrating the fact that uh, you know, they have just recently paid off some of the monies and allowances of students at this time of the year. You would remember and understand very well that being a student, you need material in the beginning of the year. You need your textbooks in the, in the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. And that was not the case with our students. Our students had to enter the, the, the academic calendar without the books, without allowances for food. And as a result, we are going to come back here again and blame the very same student that you demanded free education but now you are failing. But they are forgetting that it's them who set the students for failure. But, uh, you know, as an organization, we appreciate the fact that at the end of the day, they tried to resolve these uh, backlogs that were stressing our students. Mm. And uh, one of the messages that we perhaps want to push to the administration office of NSFAS together with the minister is that, uh, you know, the, this system they are using of uh, just giving monies to the institu different institutions and they allow universities to employ their own mechanism on how they are going to distribute monies. It becomes problematic because in many instances, particularly Tibet colleges, many students are not getting their, their full money. They, mm -hmm. Some of them, they get 70 rand instead of like your 1,800 rand. A student just come to our offices, say, NS first send me money and it's, it's like 79 rand. What are you going to do with 79 rand? And you, you start to think that there's a lot of maladministration and perhaps one would say corruption that is happening in these institutions of higher learning. And these people of NF, NSFAS, if they are serious, they must really try to deploy their own people in all these different institutions mm -hmm. of higher learning. What are you going to do about it? Well, uh, we, 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 want, we want to encourage young people out there to, to apply for tomorrow. They must keep on applying because this is the only alternative we have, uh, you know, for us to get funding to study. We want them to apply in their numbers. As long as you, you are excelling academically and you are coming from the, one of the poor of the poorest, then you can afford. Let them apply, but we, we will keep on pushing and pressurizing the department together with NSFAS because one of the you know, remedies that we have proposed to the, the, to the department is that, was that the NSFAS must be dissolved because mm -hmm. it is not saving the purpose that it was supposed to be saving. Mm -hmm. NSFAS is just one of those useless institutions that people are using it to loot and all that. Mm -hmm. I mean, where was all these monies that are being popped up now when students were frustrated at the most crucial stages when they had to prepare for their exams, when they had to prepare for their tests. It's only now when they are coming and they think we're going to celebrate that and get excited that finally money is coming. What are we going to do with that money? We are two, three, four weeks prior to the final examination. Mm -hmm. Books are not there. A textbook is like this big. Mm -hmm. How are you going to study that textbook mm -hmm. in a space of three weeks while you are, you, you, you are intended to go and pass them? Mm -hmm. And it becomes a problem. And so are saying, we will have to go back as the, as the EFF students command and reconsider on how we should approach this uh, question of NSFAS because it is really, really diluting the entire struggle of uh, free, uh, free and quality education that we have been striving for. Mm. I guess the difficulty is getting to the root of the corruption. We've seen uh, that one student getting paid out millions and millions of rands uh, then went and spent it. I mean, how are you going to get uh, to the root of this? People are concerned at the way uh, that some of the EFF aligned students deal uh, with their frustrations in terms of protesting, in terms of damaging uh, property at these universities. Is that still going to be your uh, method of trying to frustrate or uh, trying to vent your frustrations? Well, uh, there is no there is no formula to to you know to to protest and to you know uh, uh, show your frustration and. If Equally, they, I don't think people must give us a, a rubric on how we're going to be dealing with our own issues. And you, 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 you would understand that uh, as a leader and as students, ordinary students, it's, it's frustrating a lot to, to know that I'm not going to get my money to, of, of, of food for the whole month and transport for the whole month. Many of, students, of our students are sleeping in libraries. Imagine sleeping in the library for the
the whole week because you don't want to go home, you know, because you are afraid that you might not even get that 80 run to come back to school. Mm -hmm. Because the NSFAS and these very corrupt people did not really put money on time. We are not going to smile, we are not going to massage them, we are going to, we are going to protest and it, it is going to show uh, uh, that element that we need because we know our officials and government officials, mm -hmm. the language that they listen. Well, of course we are not promoting violence uh, uh, in institutions and burning of properties, but there is a way that we know we usually do so that the, man uh, the management, mm -hmm. government and uh, all these institutions listen to us. Mm. Are you confident that the students know uh, the processes to apply for NSFAS tomorrow? Well, uh, the students are aware of the processes, even though uh, we, are d we are of the doubt that NSFAS is not sure about their own processes. Because as it stands, we still have a lot of students, Moria of students who are still waiting there to be, well, they are approved, they are approved but they are still waiting to get such monies. And they haven't got them. And our question is that how are, you, how are they going to deal with it? And you are, you are opening for reapplication of others while you still have a huge number of students who haven't got their funding on time and the year is almost finished mm. and we, 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 we are not confident and hence we are calling for the government to really put and zoom in in this uh, question of NSFAS because it is really really uh, out of line right now and we are losing patience. Mm. Mm. Right uh, well we're going to have to leave it there Peter thank you for coming and chatting to us I know possibly we'll chat in the future uh, as uh, tomorrow uh, applications for the 2019 National Student Financial Aid Scheme funding will open. Chatting to Peter Kiete, he's from the EFF Student Command. Uh, a lot of the student boards now uh, coming together, the student organizations uh, trying to educate uh, the students on how to f uh, try and apply for NSFAS. But the big question is, uh, is the NSFAS leadership and administration uh, ready for the influx of student applications? And uh, we'll continue uh, to track that story.